let's have a look at this um, Moon Eyes collection of diecast. I've been a dealer for 15 years, so obviously over the years I've started collecting them, like all of us uh, adults who haven't really grown up. So most of these ones down the bottom are the M2 machines and some Hot Wheels. These are mostly the general release type ones. Go up one level. And you can see a couple of these ones like the uh, the Copperhead Gasser and I think the, um, the Gasser Nova, a little rarer. Um, and then in the M2 you can see the ones with the gold wheels. They're the Chase. So they're normally only about 750 worldwide. I'm just going a little bit further. As you can see the back, like there's like a matchbox and a few Hot Wheels. Some pretty random ones there. Right, one more level up. Okay, there's a couple of M2 Christmas ones. And the ones along the front here, they're the tarmac ones, which are super nice, really nicely detailed. Um, I think there's a couple that I still don't have, but I'll keep working on them. There's still a few that I've got to get, not too many. You see, this is sort of the haulers and that sort of thing. Open the door, make it a little bit easier. So this is some of the uh, larger scale, the 124th scale ones. Of course the red Camaro here is designed after Shige's own car. So he's obviously the owner of Moon Eyes. Now we've got one more level again. So these couple at the front there Coin banks. Now I've got two. I believe there's three, but I'm not sure what the other one is. So I'll have to do a bit of research on that. Um, they're here, this one over here, the Aloha one, the information, that's that's a fairly recent one. You can see there we've got um, Wild Man to sign that one there, and the tea bucket. A couple at the back, still in the packaging. I like that one because it actually has the building in the background, same as the F100, you know, because it's got the signage in the background. Um, then we'll go up to the top level here. So this, this little um, dot display has just, just been released, so I've just done that one. Uh, and then here, we're sort of getting into the rarer ones. Now the Candy Striper one, I don't know what number this is, but she I sent it to me and he emailed me and said, oh, there's a, you know, there's a Hot Wheels in yeah, my order. But he said, don't put it on social media because it hasn't actually been released yet. So I don't know how you would tell if it is a super rare one or if it was a sample. It's got a G40 on it, 2012. So I know it was one of the first editions. Um, the drag bus. Was, was a pretty rare one. I, I don't know the exact numbers. I have got the box there. That one at the back there, the Volkswagen, that is probably the rarest. So that is the bare metal 124th scale. Um, I don't know where it's written on there, but it is one of 168 ever. So that's pretty low numbers. And then you've got the convention bus. And then you've got this little one here the surf rod. Now I just want to show you the back of that one. Because obviously this stuff's numbered. This one's not. It's, it says sample. So once again, it's a pretty rare one. I still have more to go. There's, there's a few that I haven't got. Only a couple that are really hard to find. Um, one of them is the dairy delivery, which isn't super rare. They made like five or six thousand, but I, I can't seem to find it. Um, and obviously, I've got a whole bunch of other diecast stuff there, SoCal stuff, kids' 
stuff with a rat thing over there and then we come around here more down the bottom and there you go oh, and even I iron up the top there's even some more bits and pieces that's the um, moon eyes die cast collection I have so far